Right, we're going to be doing this solid geometry. I've drawn the pentagon that you can see there. I need to be able to draw this front view as well. But before I can do that, I need to find out where the apex is of this pyramid. So um, I need to, first of all, find out where, um, where that center is. I can take a line coming across from this corner of the pentagon. Okay, that will go through the center. I know the distance from there to there to the middle of that line. If I find the middle of this line over here, and I take a line coming from the apex over there, going across, that will give me the center point that I'm needing for that apex. I can then draw it in as hidden detail. And we'll see why I need to draw hidden detail and not solid lines. All right, hidden detail coming from all of the corners. All right, if you look at this view over here, it's a first angle orthographic projection, which means that I'm getting a top view in this view over here. If it's top view, I'm a little bird looking down onto it. And these lines over here, I would not be able to see going down. Therefore, they are in hidden detail. Right, it says that I've got a measurement of 56 millimeters going to the top over here. So I measure off my 56 and I plant it down over there. And I draw a line going across at the top. Um, I need to find out where the apex is of the pent pentagonal prism, okay, um, pyramid. Okay, so there's the apex of it down at the bottom. Um, I'm going to label that naught. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to label this number one, two, three, four, and five. So I've got a line coming up from one, it touches the X, Y axis over there, um, and it continues up to that point over there. I can now draw a line coming from point number one, going down to the apex. Um, I've got three and four, they are on that point over there, three and four, and that goes down to the apex over there. And I've got five over here, which is going to go up to this point over here. There's five over there. I can see a line going from five to the apex. There it goes. Okay. That would be that line over there. Um, and uh, behind that, I also have two, okay? But that would not be seen because it's directly be behind um, number five, okay? So if two going down to zero, you can't see that line. It's directly in, in line with, uh, with five zero. There's zero over there. Right, so I'm going to draw the, the left and right hand views. I'm going to start with the right hand view, okay? So we draw in my XY axis over here. Should call it X1 and Y1. I'm going to take lines going across from these points over here and a line coming across from the apex. I'm going to take my measurements over here from one to the XY axis Find one over there, go across to the new XY axis, plant it down, and I end up with one over there. I go to point two, to the XY axis, find two, go across to the new XY axis, plant point two. Point three, go to the, the point three over there, go across to the new XY axis, plant it down, and I have point three. Go to four, go to the XY axis, find four, go across the new XY axis, plant it down, and I have point four over here. 
Point five to the x, y axis, go to five over there, go across, plant that down, and I have five. Okay, I've got my one, two, three, four, five. I need to get the distance from zero to the x, y axis. There's zero over there, take it across to the new x, y axis, plant that down, and I will have point zero over there. Right, I now need to put myself in the picture. I'm standing on the right hand side of this, looking across. I will be able to see the lines going from 4 to 0 and 3 to 0. So I find those two right away and I draw them in as dark lines going from 0 up to 4. I can obviously see the edges of the object, so 2 and 5 will be able to be seen. Okay, and the line which I can't see is this line 1, 0. Okay, so that would be in hidden detail. And obviously I can see all of these points are linked up up at the top like that. Right, once I've done that, I need to do a left view of it. I start out and I will draw a left view, an x, y axis. Okay, we label this one as x at the top here x2, y2, okay, in other words, it's flipping around like that, I'm going to take it across like that, and like that, I'm going to find my numbers again, let's start with number 1, you'll see that the distance from number 1, number 1, going across over here, and number 1, all of those from the x, y axis, 1 is always the same distance, Two. Now look at this. There's the distance from 2 over here. Distance from 2, it's the closest to the x-y axis. Point 3. There's point 3 over there. Take it across. Point 3. Point 4. Find 4. Go across. Knock that down. There's point 4. Point 5 the furthest from the x-y axis is 0.5. If you look over there, it's furthest from the x-y axis. Same story over here. It's going to be the furthest from the x-y axis. Okay. Um, and obviously 0.0, I need to find that from the x-y axis. There it is, there it is. And if I come across here, 0.0 is the same distance. So that distance, that distance, and that distance is all the same distance from the x, y axis. Right, I put myself in the picture. I'm now standing on this side. What line can I see right in front of me? Well, it's one naught. So I'm going to draw that in straight away. One naught is over there. Um, I can obviously see the edges of the object. So five naught, I'll be able to see. And two naught, I'll be able to see. The lines I can't see are three, four, uh, uh, three naught and four naught. So I can take hidden detail lines going from over there, from three down to naught, and from four down to naught. There we go. That's that drawing done.